everybody, Dan here. Just want to give you guys uh, an update and some quantities for my Dutch bucket system and uh, show you what's been going on since uh, last time I updated you. Here we go. So, uh, this is the last week. I went uh, to called the Grow Local. Uh, they grow microgreens, mushrooms, and uh, some other herbs and other greens. Um, and I got some, uh, some pea shoots and some cilantro, micro cilantro. And pound, pound through the peas, like you see, I made a ham skillet, which is delicious. And uh, cilantro I've been eating, it doesn't look like I've been eating much, but I'm pound, pounding through that too. Uh, I got my hydroponic setup going. Um, see here. I don't know what's coming out yet. <laughs> Actually, it is right there. Right. Sure it is. Oh, there you are. Right there. That was in there already. Yeah, a couple days ago. Cool. So yeah, I got this going about a week ago. Uh, first night I just kept that out for maybe an hour or two. Second night, you know, three or four hours. And then I gave it another three or four hours. And then let it go all night and night. And then but yeah, I didn't try to take any shock from when I planted from the soil, washed them all, put them in here. Put them in there, look at this. Look at how stuff that thing is. Yeah. So. Uh, I'll skip the tree collars this week. You guys are probably all sick of those, so. Yeah. Uh, it's out, off for now, but I uh, got set up for my tomatoes, and more tomatoes and peppers, and fenugreek's doing well. Uh, green onions are doing good. Planted it for Luke and my gardener. Those are the orange russellinis, baby. And then uh, I got uh, my lemongrass going in here. I don't know if I should be able to see that. Lemongrass is right there. It just came up a couple days ago. So that's doing good. And then, uh, so that's the update. And now we'll talk about the Dutch bike build here. All right, so I didn't bring you guys along for this, uh, putting these pipes in here. I mean, they're in uh, one and court, the pole and everything. Check out MHP Gardener. Got a great explanation on this, um, so I'm not gonna show you. But uh, one thing I have not seen though is uh, how you get the, get the holes in this little guy. I got the, the drip lines around here. You can see that one right there. Um, you gotta use this tool right here. You punch the hole in there, you stick that thing in there, and you're good to go. So I got all the holes punched for that. Down there, you can barely can't see it. Not very good light here, but. That pumps down there. So I have the pump in half inch, the drip line, and the drip line's a, the, the line's a half inch. The drip line is a quarter inch. So if you're gonna build like a setup, you're gonna need, you need some kind of hose end, you can also pinch this. So I bought the hose end, the half inch hose, these little guys, little drip lines, uh, connectors, quarter inch, pump, there's a 27 gallon tank there. I got that from Home Depot, it's a few bucks, 15 bucks. And we got rocks that don't roll, I got this from Hydroponic Store. Uh, 50 liters for three buckets, so you'll put six buckets and you 100, 100 liters of rock. These are three and a half gallon buckets, also from Home Depot. So, and then I got my Corgi. Yeah, he's always inside too. He always in the room with me. And then we've got this is a half inch, or is it a half inch? She's one and a half inch. Yep, one and a half inch PVC right there. And then I'm gonna drill one inch holes through those so that these guys can go in these holes. And uh, then they can drain back into this system. And then off the Calvert system, we should be off and running. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if I'll get that going before spring or not. Kind of busy with the seed starting, but um, yeah, for the for the pump line, you're gonna need nutrients. I use Pure Run Pro tank here. Ingredients around the back there. Come on, focus. There you go. So are more kind of organic ingredients, and then I also got the Fox Farm. Um, I just got that too. Ingredients are not as organic. There's Earth from Casting Town. I don't think. But. Um, yeah, so you know, you know the nutrients, water, the tank, the pump, half inch hose, quarter inch connector drippers, drip lines, as well your feed system, and then it's going to be the end. 
we're gonna pinch it or whatever we're gonna do. Return line, we need a cap. One and a half inch PVC. I put an elbow at the end of here, knock it back into the water. And then you also need half inch PVC, three quarter grommets, the rest about eight inches long, half inch elbows each end, and uh, that'll be your return line. And then you'll need three and a half inch, three and a half gallon buckets, 100 liters if you're doing six of them of rock. That's your whole system there, and you know you want to put them whatever you want to put them on, put them on, to get them off the ground. And um, I think that's everything. Oh, no, oh, we got a couple more things. Let's see what I it's in here. I was prepared here. Ah, yes, I was. I was prepared. Got a hose. I need that. This is for new system. I'm gonna set up later for you guys. So uh, you will need some pH up. And pH down because you're gonna. Like I told me I'm gonna screw up, so I don't need that stuff. And then I, you can get like a pH meter or whatever. I just got these little strips. Yeah, so I'm on a budget, and that's everything you need for getting her hydroponics going. Uh, if you want, you could go with net pots. You know, that you're gonna stick in here. Um, I do have lids as well, and then or you can use rock, rock wool. I'm just gonna use some dirt like I did before and rinse them off and stick them in here and try that out. So. Uh, thanks for watching, um, I hope you guys have a great weekend.